So in this video, we're going to go beyond the basic creation of spark lines and move into using spark lines with other graphs. So we've already talked about the idea that spark lines add a lot of value to single point in time data, but spark lines themselves have limitations. They don't have axes, they don't have detailed data, only the shape, but not the level can be compared between spark lines. And for this reason, we're almost always going to use spark lines with other graphs. The, the classic example of spark lines is this table where we have sales by category or subcategory, and we see these numbers, and these numbers all have some meaning, but we don't know a lot of the context of the, of the, of the, of the data. So without the spark line, this is what we would generally call just data. Um, it's some information, but when we add the spark lines, we get a lot more context and a lot more information about that data. So in this video, we're going to cover how to do some of these interactive or um, compound visualizations using spark lines. All right. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and open up the spark lines with other graphs file. And you'll notice that there's a lot of stuff in there that um, there, well, there's a sheet in there that is should be familiar if you've done the previous spark lines video. In fact, it is the sheet from the previous spark lines video. But what we're going to do is create this table here where we're going to we're going to create a new sheet and we're going to make a table that looks like this that has subcategory on the rows and the sum of sales in the text mark card. All right. I will do that now. All right. So I'm here in Tableau now. I'm going to create a new sheet. I'm going to double click the sheet name and call it table. And I'm going to put subcategory in the rows and profit sum of profit in the text label. And now I've got my uh, simple table that we're going to start with. Now we're just going to create uh, the rest of this table. We're going to dra drag profit ratio onto color. We're going to change the mark card type to square. We're going to modify this color to give it a two-step diverging color. And maybe make these um, these reds a little bit softer here. That's pretty good. And this blue a little softer here. It's pretty good. Hit apply. Hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make that label bold. So I'm going to go into the label um, uh, mark and Go in here and just choose to make that font bold. And I'm going to I'm going to hide this field label, uh, hide field labels for rows. And I'm going to delete this title. Do not simply hide it. I want you to delete it. And hit OK. That's just important for when we do something a little bit later. All right. Now. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this basic spark lines graph and we're going to turn it into a spark lines graph that fits with this table. So we're just simply going to right click on basic spark lines and choose to duplicate it. And we'll call this one table spark lines. And all we have to do to change this is, is change this category to subcategory. So I'm going to hit the plus next to category which adds the subcategory pill in because it's a hierarchy. And I'm going to drag category off. That's it. We're all done. The only thing we want to do now is just fit the height. So it's going to use up all the space that it's given once we put it onto a dashboard. And that's what we're going to do now. So let's make a new dashboard. We're going to go ahead and click on the new dashboard button. We will call it table dashboard. Because in order to put these two graphs together, we're going to have to put it on a dashboard. And we're going to resize this to being a fixed height of 400 and a fixed, uh, sorry, width and height of 400. And then all we want to do is drop the table in here, drop the spark lines in here, um, hide this card, and hide this title. And let's see what we can do. All right. So 
we want to set both of these to being entire view as far as their fit. We're getting closer now. Oh, and I made a mistake here. Let me go back to the table spark lines and just fix this, which is show the title. And then what I want to do is go in here like I did on the table and just delete the title, not hide it. All right, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and show the title. And now things line up better. We see that? All right. And so the next step, now that we've got these things in here, is um, one of the things we have to do is add a text area at the type, top to give it a title. So we'll take this text area, we'll put it up here at the top, and we'll call this current, sorry, we'll call this profit ratio and sparkline. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. Hit OK. We will size it back to a reasonable area. And, and there we have it. We have our profit ratio and spark line. Uh, we could adjust this a little bit more to get rid of some of this white space, but we have it. But the problem here is now is that we've got this header on both sides. Easy to fix. Go to table spark lines, choose not to show the header. We go back to the dashboard and we've got it the way we want it. We might want to give this a little bit less space because we're kind of using up a lot of space in that table. And there we go. That's the first one. Great. So now we've created a spark line and worked with a table. So now we're going to build something a little bit more complex. We're, we're going to have our spark lines with a table, and then we're going to have that table work interactively with another graph, which is this sales trend graph, all right? So let's go back to Tableau. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is, again, duplicate the basic Sparklines graph. This time we're gonna call it Sparklines Detail. And in order to add that second layer of um, detail that we saw in the front, in the first, um, uh, in, the, in the slides, we're going to take segment and drop it here after category. And now we've got that spark lines graph basically done. All right. Now, the next thing we have to do is make that trend graph. So let's make a new sheet and we're going to call that trend. And here's what we want to do is we want to take the order date year, drag it to columns. We could also do, um, then drag month, or we can hit the plus, but that gets us quarter, and it's a little bit harder. You see, I had to take the quarter out. So I usually just drag order date again, and just pick uh, month, of course, but there's not really a right or a wrong way to do that. Then I'm gonna drag sum of sales to the rows, and I'm going to choose to fit the entire view, and I'm going to choose to make this into bars. Then I'm going to hide the month um, of the order date header. I'm going to right click on the order date header and choose to hide the field labels for columns. And I'm going to drop the color field on color. Now remember, that color field was something we used in another video. If I right click here and I choose to edit it, we see that all this formula is doing is if it's the smallest, if it's the smallest value that's in the uh, visualization, you're going to put the word low into a field called um, color. If it's the highest, it's going to go into one called high. And then you're going to um, give it the color green or red based upon low or high, right? And we're going to hide this card because we don't really need it. We want to change this to fit width. 
we didn't really need to change it to um, entire view. That was a mistake I made. And then we're going to drag this up here. So it takes about, about half of the screen. And we're going to go over to our format pane. And we are going to get rid of all of those pesky dividing lines and all of these pesky zero lines and reference lines, trend lines. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Go to rows, get rid of the grid lines, and there we are. So now we've got our nice clean column chart to add to our uh, to add to our um, dashboard with the spark lines detail. So let's do that. Let's create a new dashboard. We're going to call this one Spark Lines Detail Dashboard. And we're going to size that dashboard to 1000 by 300. And we're going to just drop our Spark Lines Detail in here and our trend chart in here. And we're going to give that trend chart a lot more space. And There we are. We've basically got that dashboard the way we want it. But the real thing now is that, you know, these things are great, is that we're showing the all, whole lot of context. But what would be really cool is if when I clicked on one of these categories, the graph over here might change. Or if I clicked over here, the spark lines might change, etc. right? So what we're going to do is give this a filter dashboard action that triggers from this side. So one thing we could just do is go ahead and hit use as filter. Or we can go up to the dashboard menu. And we can choose actions. And we can choose to add an action, which is a filter. And we want a trigger to be from only spark lines detail we want it to affect both and then we want it to only affect selected fields so we want it to add a filter for category in, and source and target should be the same and one for segment and we're done and so now if i click here. Oh, I did it wrong. So you'll notice here, if I click here, I get this thing that says filter one. That's because I made a mistake. So I'm going to go back up here to dashboards and choose actions. And I want to um, edit this action. And I don't want it to be a menu. I want it to be a select. All right. And now when I hit one of these, you'll see that the graph is going to be changing depending upon the level of analysis that I provide.